welcome back guys to Mass Effect, where we now head on, secure some smuggled cargo, one of the N7 side quests, before we head back to the Citadel, as we kind of stopped there to do the Kasumi quests, and then kind of went away, so we're going to go back there straight afterwards, and see what's going down, see if we can get our Spectre status back, but anyway, let's get our smuggled cargo back. Down on planet Dartar, I have five probes, of course we need to, oh we don't even need to scan to find it here. Oh well, may as well pick up some quick minerals, because I left some probes over. Just been picking up some extra minerals on other places for a little bit. Just because it's always nice to have more of the stuff for our research, so I thought I'd do that in between episodes, so we'll use our last five probes quickly. Nice deposit there of element zero as well, was that? Research projects. Element Zero is used for bioamp and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective launched. Nice to know. Element Zero seems to be the least used of the lot, but we've already got a fair amount of it due to our carryover bonuses, you could say. Alright, we've got one more probe. Let's fire it somewhere as long as we can find ourselves a nice big spike like that of Element Zero, more or less. Let's go for the ER, we can go for a lot of both, really. Probe launched. Pick up the platinum, resupply a little bit after our research, and get down to the planet, close the scanner, and land. So I'm wondering if this is an actual mission, considering it's smuggled cargo, or if we're literally just going to touch down and pick up some gear. This is something we've been left aside by Aria, if I'm correct. Well, we're taking a squad, so I would say that things aren't so simplistic. Garrus and the Amazing Morden. We have three squad points ready to use. I think oh, yeah, I was saving up, wasn't I? So we'll just go back and get out there. Security mechs then. Heavy mechs. Stop the heavy mechs before they destroy- Before they destroy the cargo? Where are they? Oi, you! You, 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 Oh, you, you guys are- This might be a time for our new power. Can we AI hack it? This would be very handy. Right, we need to- Wait till we get our abilities up. AI hacking. Didn't we get that by now? Ah, target protected by shields. We have to get rid of the shields first. Shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> Alright then, let's hack it. Oh no, we still can. Target protected by armor. Should do the trick. Someone help me sort this thing out. Alright. Now we can hack it. And get hit by a massive rocket. Are you lethal or no? You are lethal. Yeah. Thought I was harmless, did you? It's about to go off. Oh, he blew up. Right, we still got. Oh no, they're blowing up everything. The... We should have engaged them all to start with, as it were. Sir, Enemy. do not understand. These are mine. Deploying is a Sir, can you stop blowing up my secret? Nice plies! I'm getting chewed in by different angles everywhere! I'm gonna go for mainly this one. Of course, we've at least chewed for the armor of this one, but he's destroying everything! We've only got 11 boxes left! Style engaged. Ah, blow up! Lovely! Of course I forget straight away that we actually have stuff for dealing with these guys in a nice fast fashion. I'm not a heavy weapons fan. Snipers all the way. Ooh! I'm not here. Nor are you. Okay, that was horrible. We only have nine crates left. That was rubbish. 
Now we press B to end the mission, but we might find some stuff around if we have a quick check. Let's have a look here. Okay, enemy ship spot in orbit. Cerberus. Oh, our ID. So then it initiated the routine to have the mechs clear up all the smuggled stuff. How irritating. However, there is some minerals around the place. Let's have a quick scout. If only I got out that blooming heavy weapons thing sooner. We would have been fine. We would have saved a lot of our losses. Maintenance system over here. Had to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment. Increasing the frequency of system checks. We have to be ready to shut this place down if someone spots us from orbit. Why do you tell us about one of your blooming drop things and then not, like, disable the security for us? It's only these fragile crates we have to say. Ah, that's something up there, is it not? Power cells over here for some extra cash. Let's pick that up nice and fast. Oh, no, it's actually heavy weapon ammo, isn't it? It would have been nice if we remembered to use our heavy weaponry. I just love using the snipers so much. And nothing up here. So if I'm right in saying it's time to end the mission, head back up and see what our meager reward is, so to say. Ha! Ah, that went so badly. Is there anything on the landing pad? Always nice to check around after all. Nope, just return to the Normandy. Let's end the mission. We lost over half our supplies. Nine out of the 20 crates were saved. That was a badly done mission. We gained a small amount of experience, a small amount of money, and a zero, and that's it really. It's just a money gaining exercise, you could say. How dare they destroy all my stuff? I wonder if I could have broke the fragile crates and got stuff out of them afterwards, but that seemed like a bit of a counterintuitive thing to try considering we'd already lost 11. Get out the heavy weapons. The AI hacking didn't seem to work very well for us on the big robot. It looked like it was being hacked, but didn't actually do anything later on. And we're still in our fancy dress here. It'd be nice to change out of that at some point in time. But with another side quest down, let's head back to the Citadel. We're out of probes as well here. We're here already at one of our other missions, Recruit the Convict, but we're going to do that a little bit later. We don't want to advance the story too much before we find too many side quests. However, one thing we do want is fuel. And a nice Spectre kind of fee, you could say. I imagine if we are a Spectre, we'd be getting a fair few missions back. Over to the Citadel once, let's go! Get inside. Lovely little loading screens, it's a joy to watch, that's why I'm quiet. I love the loading kind of screens in this game, opposed to the Mass Effect 1 ones, they're brilliant. It's kind of odd when you appreciate a loading screen instead of a stupid elevator! And mind you, this loading is taking a very long time. Ah, here we go, onto the Citadel. We'll take our aliens, of course, Garrus is a friend of the Citadel, you could say. Or oh, actually, no, he just quit again, didn't he? Not so much a friend anymore. Let's just get straight down. Yeah. 
and rejoin where we left off. Right then, here we go. Let's have a look around the place. We listen to galactic news over here. What about thanking me? Right, so we've got the gunnery chief we can listen in on. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship. Or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. That was quite a good conversation. I liked listening to that indeed. Isaac's fir Newton's first lord, right. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. What's this about? Why are they going on about human? Uh, why are they saying he's a biotic? I, I'm really not sure how that conversation went then. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. But it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Nice to know, Garrus. Well, let's try to get in ourselves, even though we're full of weapons. It looks like they've actually got proper weapons checking now. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Alright, let's try and head in then. It seem like they're stopping us with all our weapons on us. Really? Okay then. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okay then. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Okay then. But there's a lot more humans in CSEC. Was there really any before? It was all... Well, Garrus's people. The Turians before. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the citadel itself, and probably a stop by the treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. 
Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Garrus probably kind of likes it. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. That explains a lot more, especially about the humans being in CSEC thing. Never used to see them before, but Avina's still here. Hello! Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Good job then. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I was wondering if we'd get any useful information from her, but probably not. Welcome to Citadel News Day. Oh no. Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath, after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. We didn't really defile it, we ended up getting information sucked into our brain. Completely different kind of thing, but let's check out the shops. Let's check out the atmosphere of the Citadel first off before we visit and get our status reconfirmed. Can we get more discounts? Good day my friends, welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. 
I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Okay, we got five Paragon points for that. Got ourselves a discount. What actually do they sell? What the hell did I just endorse? Souvenirs. Rubbish souvenirs, more or less. Well, they didn't require much credit, but we can get ourselves a space hamster. This small furry rodent looks up to you with what seems like a knowing smile. I love hamsters. Oh, we got fish as well. Okay, we'll, we'll get a fish. We'll get a hamster. Hopefully we don't put the hamster in with the fish. And just model ships and stuff. Right, we don't, we don't need your discount anymore. Can we take it away? We don't want to endorse you. We've got your stuff. Welcome back. Nope. I'm just browsing. Of course. Take your time. So now what happens? If I enter, do I hear my endorsement? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. No, that's just wrong. Okay, then. Let's check out the other stores, the actual more important stores. This is not the best one to endorse, in a sense. Because it's not, like, very important stuff. Rapid transit there, if we want to head up to the Presidium. There's advertisements all around. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun. But do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high-tech network infrastructures? The Henley Technical Institute can help. Courses available through our extranet site will put you on the path to success. Visit our site now at keywords Henley Technical Education. Okay then, I wonder what happens if you search that in Google, what you actually end up with. How well with the galactic news, we listen a lot of that. Galactic news terminals everywhere, but they more or less talk about everything that we've been through. Right, down here, however, level 26, we find a new ship salesman. Random. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Only, only slightly, only slightly, like I'm a slight perfectionist, which is just wrong. You can't say Here's stuff like that. Irishimase, okay. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. So there's a ramen stand. What else we got here? Nothing. We can go out. Can't go out here. We got a Vina. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. That sounded quite good fun to me. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. 
It's a bit kind of uh about the whole... That uh, is how pickpockets generally work in normal streets everywhere. But... She'd be like literally having to bend down to get into his pockets. It's stupid. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. I will be careful, but why have you just like arguing all the time? I don't understand. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? No. Too many advertisements, too many things to steal the eye in this place. I'm just going around the place, just... There's so many things to look at, so many things to experience on the Citadel now. It's all new, all refresh, and there's nothing down here at all apart from a bunch of humans. And one a single lone Asari. Let's find this search of foundation then. It must be very nearby. Let's keep having a look around, and we found ourselves some more stuff. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakira Ward. Okay, let's investigate, see if we can see anything. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. I was hoping to learn about other people's, uh, you know, stuff. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. What's going on here? We're getting Paragon points for giving everyone an endorsement, but this is my favorite store and that's my favorite store and why am I still given the option after... Well, I can't look a gift horse in the mouth. But whatever, Medi-Gel Capacity and Life Support Wedding. Webbing? <laughs> wedding? Webbing. Quite a lot of cash overall. I guess our discount made it quite good. Alright, increases health by 10% and medi gel capacity increased quite a lot. I'll take both of these for sure. I can keep going around and endorsing everyone for one free Paragon points and it's going to be a bit stupid when every store is the favourite store in the Citadel. Right, do you, want, do you want this to be my favourite store, Marab? I, I like some nice, easy goodies. Well, actually, what are you selling? Tech damage and damage. Oh, whoa, these, these, these ones are... Very, very, very expensive. 30% tech power, but 10% to shield barriers and armor? That's really, really good. I want a discount. I really do. I don't care if I have to, like, endorse every store on the Citadel. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Oh, we found ourselves a little secret as well. Let's give an endorsement for no reason. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. No problem, but every store is my favorite store on this Citadel. What's going on? In fact, 
How much will the discounts are cool? 15,000 each. That only comes to 150,000, which leaves us with just under 100. Oh, it's this. Those are some really nice bonuses, those. Probably the best ones ever. So, right. That's a window, and I'm walking into a window. We've also resolved the problem in the bottom here. Let's get over and finish off the episode by resolving the dispute. Go into my pocket. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. No problem. We sorted out the problem going on. Probably even ourselves a little bit of money for our troubles, strangely enough. Hopefully not from her, because she wants to buy a ship for the migrant fleet. A little bit of experience, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. We've kind of just only scratched the surface of the Citadel. We got ourselves a few nice upgrade, kind of sorted out one dispute, as well as took on some heavy mechs and kind of really messed up a mission super badly. But we're reintroducing ourselves to the Citadel. It's going to take a fair bit of exploration on the way up. So tune in for more next episode. Bye-bye.